This is devotional number 200, and today's date is March 4th, 2017. And this week we've been looking at uh, some passages in the book of Jude, and we're down to Jude uh, verse 6. And the angels which kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation, he hath reserved in everlasting chains under darkness unto the judgment of the great day. Now this term judgment is a Strong's number 2920. And just as our English word crisis uh, spelled with a C, this is spelled with a K. And it indeed is a crisis of unparalleled proportions since May 21, 2011, that has virtually engulfed the entire globe as it inevitably progresses toward the destruction of our present universe and the glorious unveiling of the new heavens and new earth. Uh, here are some examples of how God has chosen to use this word, which is rendered in the following ways, a judgment 41 times, a damnation three times, accusation twice, and twice also as condemnation. Uh, John 3.19 uh, relates uh, light to darkness as well as to condemnation and evil, uh, evil being sin. And this is the condemnation, that light is come into the world. And men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. John 5, to 30 is a passage that includes three out of the four nuances of this word. We have uh, judgment, uh, condemnation, and also damnation. For the Father judgeth no man, but hath committed all judgment unto the Son, that all men should honor the Son even as they honor the Father. He that honoreth not the Son, honoreth not the Father which hath sent him. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that heareth my word, and believeth on him that sent me, hath everlasting life, and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death unto life. Verily, verily, I say unto you, the hour is coming, and now is when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God, and they that hear shall live. For as the Father hath life in himself, so hath he given to the Son to have life in himself, and hath given him authority to execute judgment, also because he is the Son of Man. Marvel not at this, for the hour is coming in the which all that are in the graves shall hear his voice, and shall come forth, they that have done good unto the resurrection of life, and they that have done evil unto the resurrection of damnation. I can of mine own self do nothing. As I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just because I seek not mine own will, but the will of the Father which hath sent me. The last two words in this phrase, unto the judgment of the great day, and uh, they also appear in uh, these next citations, which are presented within the context of our current day of judgment. And the word for uh, of the great is uh, megas, Strong's uh, 3173, and the word day is uh, Strong's 2250. Let's look at Acts 220, which reveals the end of God's salvation program and the beginning of an extended uh, day of judgment. And this uh, parallels what we read in Matthew 24, 29, and in about 11 other quotations in the Old as well in the New Testament that essentially are saying the same thing. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood 
before that great and notable day of the Lord come. Uh, reminiscent of Malachi 3.2, Revelation 6.17 likewise pronounces the same truth while adding the all-important rhetorical question, highlighting the reality that only God's elect who are kept by God will be able to stand spiritually. For the great day of his wrath is come, and who shall be able to stand? Uh, lastly, Revelation 16, 14 affirms, for they are the spirits of devils working miracles, which go forth unto the kings of the earth and of the whole world to gather them to the battle of that great day of God Almighty. Well, Lord willing, we will uh, try to pick this up uh, next week as we still have uh, verses 13 and 21 to consider.